hard solutions. Add on desire. Welcome to Adred Solutions. This is uh, Ramakrishna. Today we will discuss about uh, trigonometry worksheet number 12. Okay, look at this. What is the first question here? Sin square 3a divided by sin square a minus cos square 3a divided by cos square a is nothing but how much? Okay, actually, first of all, uh, before going to this question, actually, now here, what about the formula f? Now, what about uh, the formula f? Now, there is always e equal to what about the formula f? Look at this sin of a plus b into sin of a minus b. Next, uh, sin of uh, a um, cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b and uh, cos of uh, a plus b into cos of a minus b, tan of a plus b into tan of a minus b. Okay. Already, you know the formula, so that means uh, you have to write uh, sin of a plus b. What is the formula for sin of a plus b here? Sin of a plus b is always equals to, you have to write uh, sin a into cos b plus cos a into sin b, cos a into sin b. Already, you know the formula. Okay. Already, you know the formula for sin of a plus b. Now, sin a cos b plus cos a is sin b. Okay. In the same way, here, sin of a minus b means you have to write like this, uh, sin a cos b, next uh, minus cos a sin b, minus cos a sin b, okay. Now already we learn in, now we learn these two formulae which are belongs to compound angles actually. So after that, now we adding these two, we will get uh, another formula. We subtracting those two, we will get another formula. With the product of those two, we will get another formula, okay. Now here, that means you have to write uh, now we are adding these two. Now we are adding these two. We are adding these two means automatically you will get this sin of uh, a plus b plus uh, sin of a minus b. Now here sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b. Now we are adding these two formula automatically we will get. Now that means uh, this is positive quantity, this is negative quantity, but that gets cancelled. So that means you have to write 2 times of sin a into cos b. 2 times of sin a into cos b. This is one more formula. And uh, subtracting these two means you have to write like this, this minus this. Now that means you have to write sin of a plus b next uh, minus uh, sin of a minus b. Sin of uh, a minus b is always a equal to so you have to write. This minus this both are gets cancelled. This minus of minus means uh, now indirectly two times repeated. So that means we have to write 2 cos a into sin b. 2 cos a into sin b. Okay. Next, uh, the product of these two means, uh, now the product of these two, now the product of these two means indirectly, now the product of these two means uh, you have to write like this, sin of a plus b into sin of a minus b, sin of a plus b into sin of a minus b means that is always equal to, you know the formula for, now that means you have to write, you know the formula for, now a plus b into a minus b, na? So, this is in the form of a plus b, this is in the form of a minus b. a plus b into a minus b means a square minus b square. So, directly you have to write like this. Now, that is always a equals to here. You have to write like this. That is always a equals to now here. Sin of a plus b into sin of a minus b means the product of these two terms. So, automatically you have to write. Now, a plus b into a minus b, a square minus b square. So, square of the first term. So, that means you have to write sin square a into cos square b minus uh, cos square a into sin square b, okay. Sin square a into cos square b minus cos square a into sin square b. And uh, now we have to simplify this right hand side of this formula. Now, with the help of this identity, sin square a plus cos square a is a equals to 1. Means sin square theta plus cos square theta is a equals to 1. So you have to write like this sin square a. Now that means you have to write sin square a. In the place of this cos square b means you have to write uh, 1 minus uh, sin square b. 1 minus sin square b. Next minus uh, in the place of this cos square a means you have to write 1 minus uh, sin square a into this is nothing but sin square b. Okay. You have to simplify it. Now that means sin square a into 1 means sin square a. Okay. Minus sin square a into sin square b. Next minus sin square b. Next minus into minus means plus uh, sin square a into sin square b. 
So this is positive quantity, this is negative quantity. So automatically we will get this formula. So sin square A minus uh, sin square B. So this is uh, the formula for sin of A plus B into sin of A minus B. Sin of A plus B into sin of A minus B. This is the formula for sin of A plus B into sin of A minus B here. Okay, now here with the help of the same trigonometric identity, sin square theta plus cos square theta means how much the result is equal to 1. So, sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta, substitute in this, we will get the result in terms of uh, cos. So, the result is equal to, you have to write like this. Now, the result is equal to, you have to write uh, like this, the result is equal to, you have to write 1 minus cos square a, you have to write in the place of sin square a. In the place of sin square b means you have to write 1 minus cos square b. So, minus 1 minus into minus means plus cos square b. So, this plus b minus b gets cancelled. So, plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled. So, what about remaining formula for this? Cos square b minus uh, cos square a. This is now formula for same term sin of a plus b into sin of a minus b means cos square b minus cos square a and uh, sin square a minus uh, sin square b. Okay. Now in the same way, here in the same way, what is the formula for cos of a plus b here? Cos a cos b minus uh, sin s and b. What is the formula for cos of a minus b here? Cos a cos b plus sin s and b. And we are adding those two results automatically. We will get one more result. And we are subtracting those two results. We will get one more result. And we product, the product of those two results means uh, we will get one more result. So look at this. So that we have to write like this. There is always a equals to now here. What is the important formula in this? There is always a equals to you have to write sin of a plus b into sin of a minus b means you have to write sin square a minus sin square b in the same way cos square b minus uh, cos square a. So this is also same formula for this sin of a plus b into sin of uh, a minus b. This is also now here formula for sin of a plus b into sin of uh, a minus b. Sin of a plus b into sin of uh, a minus b. Okay. Now look at this. In the same way, we are applying same procedure for this. So, you have to write like this. Now, what is the formula for cos of a plus b here? What is the formula for cos of a plus b? What is the formula for cos of a plus b here? Now, that means uh, cos a into cos b, cos a into cos b minus sin a into sin b. So, already you know the formula for this, which is always belongs to compound angles, okay. Now, here next one more formula from this, cos of a minus b means uh, that is always equals you have to write cos a cos b plus uh, sin a into sin b, sin a into sin b, okay. And uh, now we are applying same procedure for these two. So, that means we are adding those two automatically. Now, we are adding those two, we will get one more result. So, that means uh, cos of a plus b plus uh, cos of a minus b plus cos of a minus b is equal to how much? Now, we are adding these two right hand sides. Now, that means you have to write this is negative quantity, this is positive quantity, but that gets cancelled. So, we have to write 2 cos a into cos b, 2 cos a into cos b. And in the same way, we are subtracting those two results. We are subtracting those two results. So, that means you have to write this minus this. So, automatically, you will get cos of A minus B minus uh, cos of A plus B. That is always equals to, we have to write, this is positive quantity minus this one. So, both are gets cancelled. This is positive quantity minus of minus this same quantity. So, that means you have to write 2 times of sin A into sin B. Sin A into sin B. And uh, now we will get the third result uh, when we multiplying those two. When we multiplying those two. Now here that means you have to write cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b. Now cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b means cos square a minus sin square b. We are applying same procedure for that. So you have to write like this cos square a minus uh, sin square b. That is always same as cos square b minus uh, sin square a. So this is uh, now one more important formula now here with the help of these two cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b means what is the formula for that cos square a minus sin square b otherwise you have to write cos square b minus uh, sin square a so in the same way now tan of a plus b into tan of a minus b and uh, tan of uh, 
pi by 4 plus a into tan of pi by 4 minus a, etc. So that means you have to write like this. This is always a equals to now here. Now that means uh, what is the another formula for this? Now what is the another formula? Already you know now here tan of a plus b formula which is always belongs to compound angles. Tan of a plus b means you have to write uh, tan a plus tan b divided by 1 minus tan a into tan b. 1 minus tan a into tan b. This is the formula for tan of a plus b here. Now here in the same way what is the formula for tan of a minus b here? Tan of a minus b means you have to write tan a minus uh, tan b divided by 1 plus uh, tan a into tan b. 1 plus tan a into tan b. Okay. Now here with the help of these two, the product of those two results means you have to write like this. That means uh, tan of a plus b into tan of a minus b. Tan of a plus b into tan of a minus b means so now we are observing these two right hand sides. The product of these two right hand sides is always A equals to. Now the product of a numerator and as well as the product of denominators. So you have to write A plus B into A minus B, A square minus B square. Already you know the formula. So that means you have to write tan square A minus uh, tan square B. Tan square B divided by A plus B into A minus B. So we are applying same formula for the denominator also. Now 1 minus tan square A into tan square B. So this is the formula for tan of a plus b into tan of a minus b. Tan of a plus b into tan of a minus b. Okay. Next, uh, now one more important formula based on this. Now a means pi by 4, b means you write as it is theta. Otherwise you have to write uh, a, whatever it may be. Then automatically with the help of this formula. So that means you have to write now with the help of the first formula. With the help of the first formula. Now tan of, in the place of a means you have to write pi by 4. Pi by 4 plus in the place of b means you have to write theta. So tan of pi by 4 plus theta means you have to apply same formula. That means tan pi by 4 means how much? There is always a equals to 1 plus tan b. Tan b is nothing but tan theta divided by 1 minus tan a. Tan pi by 4 means 1 into tan theta. So tan of pi by 4 plus theta means you have to write 1 plus tan theta by 1 minus tan theta. And uh, one more formula we will get uh, with the help of the right hand side. So that means you have to write like this. That is always A equals to now here. In the place of uh, tan theta means you have to write sin theta by cos theta. Na? Now in the place of uh, tan theta means you have to write sin theta by cos theta. So automatically we will get 1 plus 1 plus tan theta means you have to write sin theta by cos theta sin theta by cos theta divided by 1 minus tan theta means sin theta by cos theta okay so look at this in this numerator and denominator in this uh, numerator and denominator what is the lcm here cos theta is lcm and gets cancelled so automatically now what is the formula for tan of pi by 4 plus theta here cos theta plus uh, sin theta divided by cos theta minus uh, sin theta cos theta minus sin theta okay in the same way here in the same way tan of uh, pi by 4 minus theta but tan of pi by 4 minus theta means uh, indirectly have to write indirectly have to write now now reciprocal of this so that means 1 minus tan theta divided by 1 plus uh, tan theta so what is the reciprocal of this here cos theta minus sin theta divided by cos theta plus uh, sin theta cos theta plus sin theta now these are uh, important formulae actually these are important formulae which are very useful to solve the given questions in this worksheet number now 12 okay so now in this trigonometry each and every problem based on uh, minimum uh, two or uh, more formula actually minimum two or more formula actually okay first of all you have to learn this uh, now formulae after that uh, now after that we can use uh, we can use those formulae automatically we will get the solution for each and every question okay now we will start uh, now we will start first question actually now look at this what about first question from this worksheet number 12 sin square 3a divided by sin square a minus cos square 3a divided by cos square a here so look at this this is always a equals to we have to write like this now here look at this you have to write uh, like this now here what about uh, x square by a square? Now that is always a equals to x square by a square. That is always a equals to 
x square by y square, where y is always not equal to 0 here. x square by y square can be written as uh, x by y whole square. Na? Now, x square by y square can be written as x by y whole square, where y is always not equal to 0. Okay. And what about this uh, result here, sin 3a? What is the formula for sin 3a here? Sin 3a is always equal to 3 sin a minus uh, 4 sin a cube a. 3 sin a minus 4 sin a cube a. And what is the formula for cos 3a here? Now here, what is the formula for cos 3a? What is the formula for cos 3a here? That is always equal to 4 cos cube a minus uh, 3 cos a. 4 cos cube a minus uh, 3 cos a. So this question is based on, this question is based on these two formula actually. So from this sin 3a, now you write as it is, sin 3a, you write as it is. In this right hand side, from those students, what is the common term actually? Sin a is common. Na? Now in this right hand side, what is the common term actually? Sin a is common and which can be taken to the left hand side? So sin 3a divided by sin a is equal to how much? That is always equal to 3 minus uh, 4 sin square a. 3 minus uh, 4 sin square a. Okay. Next, uh, in the same way from this, now in the same way from this, in this right hand side, cos theta is common, sorry, cos a is common and which can be taken to the left hand side. Automatically, we will get this one here, cos 3a divided by cos a is equal to how much? Now, 4 cos square a minus 3. So, now by using these three, now by using these three results, automatically you will get the solution for the first question actually. So, now from this, uh, this is in the form of x square by y square. Na? x square by y square can be as x by y whole square. So, I have to write, that means you have to write sin 3a divided by sin a whole square, sin 3a divided by sin a whole square minus uh, cos 3a divided by cos a totally whole square. So, that means you have to write like this, that means you have to write, you know the value of sin 3a by sin a means that is nothing but how much? 3 minus 4 sin square a, na? now 3 minus uh, 4 sin square a totally whole square minus now, cos 3a by cos a means that is always equal to 4 cos square a minus 3 totally whole square. So, you have to now simplifying this step automatically you will get the answer. With the help of this formula, a minus b whole square means a square plus b square minus 2ab. So, you have to write 9 plus 16 sine to the power of 4a. 16 sine to the power of 4a. Next, uh, you have to write like this. Uh, now here 16 sin, now sin power 4a minus uh, now 2, 4, 8 into 3. So minus 24 uh, sin square a. Next uh, plus 16 plus 16 cos power 4a. Okay. Next, uh, this is nothing but how much? Now minus 9. So this is along with minus na. So automatically, this is nothing but minus 16. Minus 16 into cos to the power of uh, 4a. Now that is always equals to how to write cos to the power of 4a. Next plus 9 into minus, so minus 9. So minus into minus means plus 24 into cos square a. So minus 9 plus 9 gets cancelled. From those students, what is the common term here? Now here that is always equals to now minus 16 is common. Minus 16 into cos power 4a minus sin power 4a. Cos power 4a minus sin power 4a can be written as uh, cos square a plus sin square a into cos cos square a minus uh, sin square a. Okay. Next, uh, plus from these two terms, what is the common term here? Plus 24 is common. Now, from these two terms, 24 is common. Cos square a minus uh, sin square a. Okay. So, what is the value of this one here? Cos square a plus sin square a means how much? This value becomes uh, 1. Uh, this value becomes 1. And uh, what is the value of this? Cos square a minus sin square a means that is cos 2a. Na? So, this is also cos 2a. So, that means you have to write minus 16 times of this one plus 24 times of this one. So, automatically 8 into now cos square a minus sin square a. Cos square a minus uh, sin square a. What is the value of this here? 8 into cos 2a. So, this is the answer actually. Okay. Now, here when we know all these formulae, when we know all these formulae, automatically you will get the solution here.
So what is the correct option here? A cos 2A that is belongs to second one, B. Okay. So what about uh, next one here? Second question here, which, uh, which one of the following uh, number is rational? Already you know that. What is rational number here? What is rational number here? You know that. You can take any two integers which are denoted by P comma Q. We can take uh, any two integers which are denoted by now P comma Q. And uh, this is always not equal to zero. Now you can take any two integers which are written by P comma Q and Q is non-zero then the number which is in the form P by Q then the number which is in the form P by Q is called a rational number then the number which is in the form that is always equal to now P by Q is called a, now that is called a rational number okay next uh, here and uh, now the number which is always now the number which is always uh, not rational means which is called irrational number okay so which uh, which one of the following number is rational rational okay so first one is always equal so you have to check it now first one is always equal to sine 15 degrees now what about sine 15 here sine 15 is always equal to now already you know the value now that means uh, root 3 root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2 root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2 so we multiplying and dividing with root 2 now we multiplying and dividing with root 2 for this so automatically root 3 into root 2 means root 6 minus root 2 divided by root 2 into root 2 means 2 2 into 2 means 4 so this one is not rational means uh, now this is numerator can we observe in the numerator root 6 minus root 2 now so this is nothing but an irrational so this is nothing but now this is nothing but not rational this is nothing but uh, not rational number not rational number means irrational which is nothing but which is nothing but irrational so this is nothing but irrational number which is nothing but irrational number okay now this is uh, not correct here this is not correct and what about second option here second option is always equal to cos 15 what is the value of cos 15 here root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 and we're multiplying and dividing with root 2 means uh, we will get root 6 min plus root 2 divided by 4 root 6 plus root 3 divided by 4 so automatically this is also irrational number this is also called a irrational number okay this is also not correct and uh, you will now you will go to third option so sin 15 into cos 15 sin 15 degrees into cos 15 degrees is always equal to means the product of these two so i have to write root 3 okay now here that is always equal to root 3 now here otherwise you have to write like this now what is the value of sin 15 here root 6 minus root 2 divided by 4 what is the cos 15 value here root 6 plus root 2 divided by 4 the product of those two means you have to write like this root 6 minus root 2 divided by 4 into root 6 plus root 2 divided by 4 okay so denominator uh, numerator contains uh, a plus b into a minus b formula so what is the formula for that a square minus b square root 6 whole square minus root 2 whole square that is nothing but 6 minus 2 that is always equals to 4 divided by 4 into 4 4 4 gets cancelled that is always equals to 1 by 4 so we are observing this cos 15 into sin 15 is nothing but on now 1 by 4 and p is nothing but 1 q is nothing but 4 those two are nothing but integers actually p is nothing but an integer q is also integer then the ratio of those two where q is not equal to 0 automatically this is nothing but rational so what about this one here this is nothing but rational number this is nothing but rational this is rational then you will go to now here then you will go to uh, last one here sin 15 okay this is sin 15 so this is always equals to you have to write sin 15 degrees you know the value of that this is nothing but now here cos 75 cos 75 is also same as uh, sin 15 so sin 15 into sin 15 is always equal to how much a sin square 15 degrees now so what about next one here what about next one here that is always equals to you have to write sin 15 into sin 15 what is the last option here sin 15 degrees into cos 75 degrees is nothing but indirectly sin square 15 degrees 
what about sine 15 here root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2 totally whole square so you are observing this which is in the form x by by whole square means x square by y square na? so denominator contains 2 root 2 whole square means 8 numerator contains which is in the form a minus b whole square so a square plus b square minus 2ab so I have to write like this 4 minus 2 root 2 divided sorry 2 root 3 now this is nothing but 4 minus uh, 2 root 3, 4 minus 2 root 3 divided by 8. So, this is also irrational. So, this is also irrational number, na, which is also irrational number. So, we are observing the given options. First option, second and last, when all are nothing but uh, now indirectly irrational numbers, only third one is nothing but rational number. So, which is the correct option here? Correct option is obviously equals to look at this. Now, what is the correct option here? Correct option means, uh, now, third one is the correct option. Okay. Now, you will check the given, now, here, now, given trigonometric value, which is nothing but rational or uh, irrational, whatever it is. Okay. Add on solutions. Add on desire.